Hello and welcome to another Trades and Tutorials video. This is Jeff Fish, president of MarketGage.com, and today I am going to look at crude oil. Wall Street Journal reported today that the last uh, three-day move up is the biggest it's had in 25 years. So I'm going to look at it and uh, discuss how you might trade it as if this is going to be a significant bottom. Now before I do, if you're just finding us on uh, YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. And if you are not finding this on our trades and tutorials section of marketgage.com, you can check that out where there's a lot more videos like this at marketgage.com forward slash trades and tutorials. All right, so last Friday, we actually uh, reported a potential reversal in USO, the ETF that tracks crude oil. Uh, because of its weekly pattern. So you're looking at a daily chart right now, and we're going to come back to the daily chart. So uh, before I go to the weekly, let's make sure we know what the uh, moving averages are that we're looking at here. Uh, nothing magical, but very powerful. First of all, the gray one is uh, the 200-day. The magenta one is the 50-day. The blue one is the 100-day. And the green one is the 10-day. So the the 250 and 10 are my uh, staple moving averages the 100 also holds a lot of weight with institutions so i, I pay attention to that too um, but the thing that all right so the thing that I'm, I'm going to look at here is the assumption that crude oil has just put in a bottom that should last months how high does it go i don't know but there's a way to trade this from a low risk point of view that is such that if you can keep your risk low, even if we just go back up to 20, it's a massive move. As you can see, this thing has really gotten hammered and it's just broken a really significant level of support and in terms of the USO around the $16 range and just put in a relentless uh, push lower, which is often the signs of a, uh, a longer term bottom. All right, but we need to be more specific than that. So I have basically a template that I uh, look at bottoms through. And that's what I'm going to run you through right now. But first, let's take a look at the weekly. The weekly isn't necessarily part of the template, but a weekly bullish engulfing line where you actually gap lower to new lows and then completely engulf the last week and close above the prior week's high is incredibly um, bullish as a reversal pattern. It does not, however, mean that the market has to go straight back up. The next thing you want to look for is that the market trades higher than that week. And not only do we trade higher, but we trade remarkably higher than it yesterday. So I saw that as confirmation. But ultimately, we're saying that the low is 1237. I don't want to buy it at 1506 with the stop at 1237. Yet, 1237 is what I'm saying is the low, so ultimately that would be uh, the best risk. So how do we cut that down? What are the points that we would look for for a pullback? And, and why look for the pullback? Basically to minimize your risk. Um, so on the weekly, now this would be true on a daily engulfing uh, pattern as well, but on the weekly, the key level for the pullback uh, whether it happened uh, it happens now or prior day would be this high of the prior week. So that's one area we would expect it to pull back to. Now you'll notice that you know I'm doing this on a Tuesday. The market's down on Monday. The that's basically where the market pulled back to on Monday. So the high of that prior week was 1421. The low of yesterday was 1428. Seven cents. Uh, good enough for me. Pulled right back to that point. So that would be one area I'd expect it to hold. I, if you're not in there, well, you missed it for now, but that's a key level. Let's go take a look at how that looks and all this looks on the daily chart. All right, so what's the template? The template as I described it, as I uh, said I have, is really quite straightforward. It has a couple of key points. The 10-day moving average, which has been um, an, an incredible uh, piece of resistance through this whole move down now should become support and after breaking the 10 day closing above it and moving higher as it did uh, in a big way we should now expect the 10 day to be support so one of the points I'll look for 
is the pullback to the 10 day. It's inevitable, it'll happen at some point. I don't know, however, if it happens up at 15 or it happens today at 14. That's the first area we'll look for the market to hold. The next area we would look for it to hold would be any particular swing low. Now we don't have any really good swing lows in here, but we do have this area of consolidation before the next and final break down. So this level in here, I would look to be support. And that will line up, hopefully, right around with the 10 day. It lines up with this low in here. And if we were to box this in, it actually lines up with this high here. All right, so where does that uh, leave us? That means that I will look for a pullback down into this area. So let me just get those uh, specific numbers, clean this up. So the the low of that swing low right around in here is around 1348, lines up with about the uh, low here, uh, sorry, 13, not 1348, 1384, lines up with this day's low, 1383. So 1383, let's call it 85, 80, 80 to 90 is one area. The next area on the high side is that 1428 low that we just talked about. Um, remember, that was also the weekly high was 1421. And this week's low that lined up with this is, was the 1428. So let's call that 1430. So that means, uh, well, we could go one more, um, one more level for to look for a pullback. This is a rather high pullback. We're actually hitting it right now. So if you're an aggressive trader and you know how to look for an intraday reversal, uh, which I have covered in uh, my opening range uh, videos and in, in prior videos, usually I look, look for them to happen around the opening range low. But if you get that five minute reversal pattern that I, that I cover in how to buy near the low of the day, um, right at this 15 level and you're a nimble trader, this would be a, an interesting place to uh, start nibbling. From a long-term trade, which I probably will, actually, if we get the reversal pattern uh, with a tight stop below the low of the day. It, it, but for the longer-term outlook, I would really um, anticipate that we do have an opportunity to be a buyer around the 14, 30 level. In that case, I'd much I'd much prefer this area, a 1430 area uh, entry with a stop below a daily low and a stop below the 10-day moving average. So from a big picture play, buying the retracement back, that's exactly how I would play it, and I would I would try and time my entry with intraday the intraday uh, reversal pattern. As I said on a five-minute chart that I've talked about in prior videos, you can. Find that in uh, trade and trades and tutorials. You can also find it at marketgage.com forward slash O R R. All right, so that makes for a, a really low risk entry if you've got your stop below the low of the day and below the um, the 10 day moving average, which at that point should be up uh, near $14. Um, but we'll have to see how it plays out. Now, if you can keep your stop to, uh, let's say, 50 cents, um, even if the thing rallies, like I said, from, let's call it 15, up to the 200-day moving average, that's $4. I don't think it's going to happen overnight, uh, but even if it does that, or even if it just goes back to the gap down, that's 18. So that's $3. So if you can keep your if you can keep your risk to uh, you know 50 cents or less, and on some intraday moves, you could probably uh, time your way in for uh, less than than 25 or 30 cents. It's an incredible risk reward, and with any luck, in terms of the way I swing trade, you can then start to uh, trail your stop below the 10-day moving average, and who knows where this thing goes. All right, so the key here is really the, um, the template, as I described it, that I look for uh, almost on, in any market turn. And it's based, first of all, on the 10-day moving average, turning up a good break above the 10-day moving average, and then identifying those key daily highs, daily lows, prior swing lows, see how they line up, 
and where they line up are your key points to lean against. In this case, we also had the weekly pattern, which gave us uh, that additional confirmation that the um, that prior weekly high would be a good point. All right. So if it goes straight down and doesn't give you any indication that it's going to stop at any one of these points, then you're not in. What you're looking for is an intraday reversal or even a daily reversal at any one of these key points. Hope that helps, and I'll see you in the next video.